Well, the first thing that strikes everyone about Iho is her positive energy. If you know Iho, she is a she's a high energy, very passionate person, and pretty much views herself as an ambassador for Korea. She was born in a relatively small city called Chinhae, Korea. It had the Korean Naval Academy there. Well, that's where Derek and Iho met. He was in the Navy and stationed there for a time. It was an absolutely magical time. We were headed back home, and I asked her to marry me. There was an opportunity to work in Bozeman, and then we gradually built our life here. She will say now that she was experiencing culture shock, and that was 100% true. Um, America and Korea are so different. She loves people. She loves sharing things with people, her food, her history and knowledge about Korea. And this eventually led Derek to building a food cart for her. She sold food downtown and at the farmer's market long before food trucks were popular. That's where the food cart really took off. And I actually said, well, maybe you should open a restaurant. It was located right next to campus. I was there probably once or twice a week for years. One of the things that made our business successful was a lot of the faculty would come and eat there regularly. She's been invited into the college several times uh, to talk about her experiences as a small business owner. She did it once and then the next year they asked the students who do you want to return and they all said we want Iho. She is an ambassador for her culture and her people and Korea. She feels an obligation to put her best foot forward with everyone. She genuinely cared about people, and it didn't matter if she knew you or she didn't know you. She has consistently done fundraisers for local causes and also when international disaster strikes. She felt a calling to do something to help. That's what led to the very first fundraiser. And because it was successful, it just kind of snowballed from there. It's hard to figure out sometimes how do you support people with cancer, how do you support disasters, and she's like, come to the restaurant, have a meal, join us, and, and then we'll, we'll do something good for the world. She was known in the community for her fundraisers, and she always attracted a lot of people. When she gets behind something and thinks something's important, other people join her. She just brings people along with her. I think it really uh, meant something to her to be able to do that and to give back. The same kind of thing that drove her to be on the city commission. She feels like America has given her a lot of opportunities. She's really had a lot of wonderful things happen to her, and so she felt an obligation to, to give back to the community, and that seemed like a way to do that. We served about 10 years together, and it was just always a delight. It wasn't easy for her. As you know, English wasn't her first language. Um, that, that never got in her way. She was a dedicated commissioner and a champion for the underserved. She thinks her legacy was listening. She tried very hard to listen to people, to listen to both sides. And then she said she tried to make the best decision for the community. She genuinely cared about people and she walked that walk every day. She's given a tremendous amount of time and energy um, to making this place better. You would be hard pressed to find someone who had as much of an impact in this community as Iho Pomeroy. She has a, a profound belief that you have an obligation to help other people. Um, and she's done it a lot. <laughs>